Today I want to talk to you about how to care for your end grain cutting board, specifically your Owl Woodworks cutting board, though this information is going to be applicable to the vast majority of wood cutting boards. Before we get into how to oil it and how to care for it though, I want to talk about why we're doing this and what exactly we're working with here. End grain cutting boards are made of wood, and in botanical terms, the parts of the tree we need to be familiar with for this are the xylem and the phloem. The xylem is what pulls water and nutrients up from the roots, and the phloem is what pulls energy down from the leaves for the trees. And how these components act in the wood is essentially like a bunch of straws to transport things vertically. So when you make an end grain cutting board, all of the straws are oriented vertically in the cutting board, which makes for a very durable cutting surface. However, it means that the board is more susceptible to moisture, especially from the top and bottom, because it's designed to absorb and move moisture that way. That's why we want to go over how to oil and wax the board to prevent that moisture absorption and release from the cutting board. And before we get into how you can care for your cutting board, I want to go over what I do before it even leaves my shop. Now while I'm done working the board, machining it, gluing it, sanding it, putting my owl brand on the front, the last thing I do is I soak the cutting board in a bath of mineral oil. This will be for anywhere from 8 to 24 hours depending on the species of wood that I won't get into for this. Once it's done being soaked in mineral oil, I'm going to let the board rest for a couple days so that any excess oil on the board can naturally come out. Then comes the next step when I'm going to seal the board with a mixture of homemade mineral oil and beeswax paste. The goal of all this is twofold. Soaking the board in mineral oil is going to completely saturate the board in oil. What this is going to do is make it so that no water can get into the board because it's already completely full. After the oiling, the mineral oil and beeswax wax paste is going to seal the board. It's going to act like a film on top, a moisture barrier to further prevent moisture from getting access to the board. In case you haven't picked up on it yet, the goal of all this is to minimize the amount of water or moisture that can get into your cutting board. The reason for this is when oil goes into your cutting board, the wood swells and it holds up that oil and it stays there indefinitely. Water, however, will go into the wood. Cutting board will swell to accommodate all the water that's getting into it now. However, water is then going to evaporate and it's going to evaporate at a rate that the wood cannot keep up. The water will leave the board and the board will try to shrink. It won't be able to keep up and all that tension is going to cause it to crack. The same thing can happen if it soaks up water in just one spot. If there were, for example, a puddle of water on your counter and you sat the cutting board down in it, well, the center of the board would soak all of that water up. There would become a high pressure area in the middle of the cutting board and the outside edges where it hasn't soaked up any water wouldn't be able to hold all that tension in. They would again split at the edges. That's the goal of oiling and waxing your cutting is to make it so that your board is fully saturated with oil and then protected by an oil wax mixture. So now that we've gone over all the science, let me show you how to actually apply your board paste to your cutting board. With every Owl Woodworks cutting board comes a tin of my homemade mineral oil and beeswax board paste. This is mixed at a three and a half to one ratio of mineral oil to beeswax, and it's designed for you to apply and care for your Owl Woodworks cutting board. The goal of this is also twofold in that it will rehydrate the board, and then that wax is also gonna sit on the surface a bit and provide that moisture barrier we discussed earlier. Mineral oil and beeswax are both food safe products, and you can apply them in whatever way you want. You can use your hand or a paper towel. When it comes to applying the board paste, it's impossible to do much on. You're gonna apply it to the cutting board, let it sit for as long as you want. It could be a couple minutes to a couple days, and then buff off the excess with a paper towel. You wanna to apply the board paste to every surface of the board, even if you're just doing one side. Everything you do to a cutting board, you wanna to try to make it equal. Equal exposure to moisture, equal exposure to heat, equal exposure to board paste. You don't want to oil one side of the board and not the other because that oil will go into the board and cause one side to swell. It can cause your board to cup or twist a little bit. So oil one side, flip the board over, and oil the other side as well. Always try to treat both sides of the board equally. The same goes for caring for the plate that comes with your Al Woodward's cutting board. Apply mineral oil and beeswax paste to both sides, let it dry, and buff off the excess. Once you buff off the excess from the board and your plate, you're ready to go again. There's nothing else to do. You can immediately start cutting on it. Now that we've applied mineral oil and beeswax paste to the cutting board, you're probably wondering how often you should do this. What I recommend is doing it every time you use the cutting board for the first week. After that first week, I recommend doing it about once a week for a month and then doing it whenever the board looks dry or loses its luster. After the first month or two of caring for this cutting board, you're gonna know exactly when it needs to be oiled again. Caring for your cutting board is more than just oiling and waxing it though. You also wanna make sure it's being used properly. You wanna minimize its exposure to things like moisture and heat. So don't put your cutting board in the dishwasher, for example, where it will be exposed to a lot of moisture and heat in a very harsh environment. Don't put your cutting board to soak in the sink or leave it sitting beside the stove, let's say, beside a pot of boiling water. Basically, 
Keep your cutting board well oiled and minimize its exposure to moisture and temperature changes. Doing so is going to drastically prolong the life of your cutting board. If cared for properly, there's no reason your cutting board can't last you your entire lifetime and be something you hand down to your children or grandchildren. I hope this has answered all your questions on cutting board maintenance and will enable you to care for your Owl Woodward cutting board for a very long time. If you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And as always, have a wonderful day. You deserve it.